In this video, I'll take you through Power BI desktop environment. Here we are having so many options. So in order to explore any one of these uh, options and the pens, we are going to save this file. So I'm going to save this file, save and then give any name. And then save now. Once it has been saved with any name, then I can go to the login. So I can log in and can provide the login password. So enter your email address. It's asking my email address. So it's a search in dot Saxena at the rate. govstech.com right then it is going to ask trying to sign you in and asking for the password i'm going to put my password here and provide my product credentials and then yes now power bi free license signs we have assigned power bi license you are now signed in to view collaborate and on so just click on okay you can see now it's having my name over here now you can see that filter panes there are so many filter panes these are called filter panes like if i talk about the filter it's having filter panes if i talk about the visualization it is called filter panes p a n e s when i talk about the fields it's having field pane we had already discussed in power query this is to used get data and so on next we are going to import report section and then we are having report section here once i click it by default it will show the entire environment when i click on the data it will show how the relationship and how the uh, how the entire data is going to uh, explore over here when i click on the model it will show the uh, the relationship between the tables star schema or the snowflake schema and so on so it's a, that kind of module so coming back to the dashboard again i'm having plus sign over here this is plus page one this is page two this is page three as we have done in the or excel sheet or in the uh, in the uh, access form we can add so many pages over here similarly we can add more than one pages by click on the plus button in order to create power bi credentials i'll or the login provide i'll type power bi in google you can see the first option power bi dot microsoft dot com so i'll click on microsoft power bi visualization and then start free or have an account sign in so i'll click scroll down see so many options are there and so many sign up and sign in and uh, uh, that means their relevant blocks their entire community support is also here so you can uh, you can assign for the newsletter and blog for the same but as of now we are going to provide sign in if you are having proper credentials then uh, provide your credentials and if you are not having that credentials then you can create the uh, you can have that uh, 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 that uh, sign up form and then provide your basic information and then click on the build report and so on in order to explain data and follow star schema as well as cardinality we are going to import one more data here i'm going to import the data which is called super store data here so super store data is consisting so many 
columns and we are going to segregate in multiple columns here so this store data is consisting one master data one sheet which is consisting order id order details and customer name and product id subcategory product name sales and profit so i'm going to load this data and you can see if once it is uploaded in my uh, power bi desktop i can perform etl prof process so this data has been uploaded here now i'll click on to the edit query in order to perform query operations here so i'll come back to the option so now i want to create more than one top table from the given table and in order to create the schema in the given information so what i'll do i'll create duplicate value here so in order to create four dimensional data i'm going to create duplicate and again duplicate and again duplicate and again duplicate so what i need i need four dimensional data and one fact table so first table name is so i'm going to click over here and going to rename it as orders then i'll click on the second table and going to rename here and will give the name customer because it will con consist customer details only in the third table i'll click on to the rename option and will give location because it will consist location information only and the fourth table i am going to rename as the products table because it will consist the product details only and the last and the fifth table will consist the fact table fact about the data set over here so once i am going to click again on the order id order so it will consist order id and i want to keep is it as a primary key so i i will have to create this order id and uh, order date and ship date and also ship mode so i want to remove row remove column choose column and uh, remove column and remove other columns so if i choose remove columns it will remove all these four columns but i want to remove all the others columns how many columns are there total 4 and 4 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so i want to uh, keep uh, i want to keep all these four columns only and delete all the remaining columns so i want to i will click over here and remove other columns now you can see the four columns are remaining inside the order table which is consisting order id order date ship date and ship mode so i'll click on the uh, this one the, which is having consisting table or so many orders and i'll going to remove duplicate columns so so i can do that remove empty so i'll go to remove empty values and then i'm going to remove duplicates value so remove columns remove values and then i'm going to remove manage property and the transform and i can remove the duplicate values similarly i'll click on the customer table and will click on the customer id customer name segment and only these three columns i need the so customer id is the uh, primary key so i want to remove columns so remove other columns and having customer id now i am having location table which this location is having uh, this one this location is having country and uh, along with the city state postal code and region consisting location only and i want to remove other columns now it's having only 
five columns coming back to products table so this product table is having so the location is also having postal gates and now having region and product id so along with the product id i am having one two three four and i'll delete rest of the other columns so this is having four columns only and i'll click and apply over here this is going to load and save all the given rows now along with the the uh, we had already deleted duplicate values along with the duplicate uh, means uh, empty rows we want to remove duplicate values so for this we we are going to duplicate remove duplicate values so go to the add remove id click on the right click and then click on the remove duplicates so it will remove all the duplicate values because it will consist so many duplicate values also similarly i'll perform the customer id because customer id is the primary key then i'll click on the remove duplicates again and it will remove so many rows click on the location and in the location postal code is the uh, the primary key so i'll keep on the first at the first position it's not hard and fast rule that you are supposed to keep at first position but we are having basic fundamental rule that it and every primary key must have first must acquire first position so i'm going to remove duplicates again and then remove empty value also now similarly for customer i am going to remove empty value and for orders also i am going to remove empty and for the products for the i'll do the same i'll remove empty values and then remove duplicates but for the fact table i am not going to remove the duplicate neither the uh, empty value rather i'll keep the uh, the the uh, this one uh, primary keys columns only so how many primary keys are here so in the four table we are having primary keys and the uh, numerical values so we have order id in the first table then we have customer id in the second table and when then we have postal code in the location and then we have product id in the fourth column fourth table then we are going to keep this sales and profit so i want to remove rest of the other columns now we have order id customer id postal code and the uh, product id sales and profit and we are not going to remove the duplicate values or the duplicate or the empty rows because this sales and profit are the unique one they are not having the applied values now i'm going to close and apply and all the uh, means uh, data has been saved actions or the amendments i had done now are changed being saved now go to the data you can have the customer data over here revised fact table and the location part and the order id and the products table over here when you click on the model you can have the star table and the data table over here so if it is not there orders so if if any table is not here we can drag and click over here so now coming back to the location table here okay so i am going to click and we have orders we have customers yet it is there we have fact table it is here orders here Pro products is not here so we are going to predict products over here right so one two three four five so i'll keep this fact table in the and in the mid because this fact table is having relationship with all the uh, all other tables so i'm going to create that table and then create the schema over the 
fact table so this customer table is having relationship between the this one so so you can see this is having relationship now similarly i'll having this cust once you will click on this this uh, arrow so it's it will show customer id and customer id here right so you will hover over here so this is same similarly order id is having relationship with this order id so i'm going to create this order id now it is having relationship one to many this asterisk showing one to many similarly this postal code is having relationship with postal code here so now this has been this this relationship has been established over here similarly product id is having product id relationship now this has been this has been established the relationship this one is showing unique primary id unique data is residing inside the location wherever we have seen one so it is showing one or unique data inside the table when we, whenever we are having a strict means many data are residing here so we are having one to many or many to one cardinality this is called cardinality inside the relation inside in between the table relationship between the tables and the star schema is also represented here now coming back to the data format and the report section we are going to visualize our first plot that is tag part chart you can see on the right hand side there are more than 35 to 40 visuals but if you click on to the get more visuals i can get more visuals also so this is going to loading data and like play store it's having so many details and so many other uh, visualization tools also and uh, data format and uh, data like categories suppose i want to create box and whisker plot inside the power bi visualization tool i can click on that and then add in my visualization tool and it will take few seconds and then you can see import successful this visual ha visual has successfully imported into this report now i can use this visualization and then create multiple options i'm going to remove as of now so first and foremost i'm going to create I, I can see that it is going to expand all and and it is expand all it is going to show all these relevant data and relevant hierarchy and when i click on the collapse all so it is going to abstract value or name of the entire data set now i am going to click on the uh, like uh, segment so i click on this tech bar table and click on the choose the segment one numerical value and with the fact value i am going to click the sales so with the re relevant segment how many segments so this is called univariant concept where we have one category values and one numerical value so uh, we can have this box which is showing the control panel and the uh, area where we can have changes inside the bar value now i i can have the column value and we can have the column and the insert and column the other values so that we can have the numerical values and all so now coming back to the let's say i'm having customer id i'm going to delete going to remove that this chart and then coming back to the let's say i'm going to i can change the column type right so that i can have the postal code suppose i'm going to create the like this one and suppose i'm going to select this will show in here and then i can have the postal code you can see the date format location i can change the city so it is going to 
perform the city and then i can change the city value and the uh, can transform the data so i can transform the data into the new column and the another format then similarly i can change the city i can click on the country i can you can see this city and then i can have the postal code also and region so as of now it's not showing a region but in future this region will be converted similarly when i click on the order date order date you can see the order date is having the column tool which is having this one uh, sort by columns and uncategorize so i am don't summarize count so this is going to summarize in a different way so it will you can change the data type from this table also so i am going to remove from this panel i am going to remove this chart again and then i want to change this segment into the data format so suppose this is the profit and i want to change into the general to the uh, to the numerical format then it is having currency or the decimal number so i can change convert into the text data suppose uh, by default or by chance the power bi or the this desktop has chosen the wrong format so we can change from here also so suppose i am going to click over here city then click over the category so i am going to click city over here so you can see now city has been changed into the city format similarly i will click on the country and click on the country format data category it is now changed into the country format similarly i can change click hover on the postal code and click on the postal code and it will show column tool and table tool so i'll click on the postal code here now you can see they are gradually they are changing into the globe format similarly if i see region format if i'll find the region format i can change no as of now it's not shown here maybe in future power vi will have that feature but as of now it's not showing here similarly i'll click on the state if a state is there i can change yes now it has been changed here this is the process to change the format or convert into any other format of any data type coming to the next section which is ask a question here you can see ask a question option will be there you can see q and a option so it's initially empty and no option is showing here and we are having no particular graph showing here so like you can see if i click on this graph you can see x axis y axis legend and small numbers so many tools are here but here this is totally empty and none option is going to pop up here so what we are going to hear we can ask any question for example sales by segment so it is going to create that option that uh, uh, how to perform the sales by X section all right so you can see so if another any 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 other uh, option any other question you want to ask like sales by country then we can have sales by country option and as pie chart so you can see that the pie chart is just shown here and if you want to create the another option then uh, we can have table also where he where we can have table format if i want to create any other matrix format then i can have matrix over there so this is going to show if i want to change the any other format like sales by segment and this is represented by segment and segment and uh, matrix should should be shown that i can convert this into the matrix format so this is equivalent to pivot table as excel 
in excel and if you want to ask any other option like suppose top five sales so we can have top five sale by putting just simple query over here and if you have more than one table and have top five countries top five customers let's say and uh, i want to plot this graph into the actual visual into a standard visual so i can click over here turn this q and a result into a standard visual so that i can turn this visual into the standard segmentation then i'll click over the dashboard and click on the new q and a so you can see new q and a will be there and i'll write bottom fact table by profit so i'll have bottom fact table by here and then i can turn into the original or the visual chart from here also this is how we can use so many charts inside the dashboard now we are going to focus on the map and conditional formatting so i'm going to click on over uh, field map and then you can see that sum of profit is going to shown here so we here we can choose the country and the country option is going to shown here i'm going to remove that option and here i'm going to click over the can enlarge this option and here i can select the country and sales option so you can see country and sales by country and suppose i'm having not over the country but city so i can have the sales over the country sales over here i can remove this option also let's come back to the map option and then select and drag fields for population this side so i'll select the city and the sales so you can see the sales and the cities are going to shown over here so here so many options are showing here and the visualization is again in the different sections so let's say i'm going to click on the country and then it will show the different countries option i'll click on the north america united states now it's having country and sales option so if i'll click on the profit also so it's having so many segmentation right similarly we can have the similar like suppose i click on the city and the profit so it will have so many options and so many creative i am going to remove this option again and click the map again and drag the country and the sales the sum of sales and country so i am going to create going to create sum of sales and then this option so here we are going to create that option so i'm going to create that map and i'm going to take location and then i'll think going to take state and sales so you can see the states is having so many bubbles and visualization of different bubbles are of different shapes so if i click on the different options like here so so here i am having uh, the fact table but i am going to select this fact table not all the fact tables but i am going to select this sales and then the state so you can see the sales in the different states are having different area so this this is going to show and i'm going to remove this option and this one now i'm having this q and a option and i'll type sales by state sales by state 
एज मैट्रिक्स तो आई क्लिक ओवर हियर So you can see this is having so many options and so many different states over here. So you can see this uh, California and New York is having very large value, and this is kind of uh, outliers. So you can see California and New York are having big bubbles over here. So by removing this these these bubbles, I can exclude from here, and also I am going to exclude New York. from this chart so now you can see this is real visualization of each state and this is now coming back to the visualization part then we have exclude two variables california and new york two states are going to show over here then we are going to create that visualization option again i'll create format your visualize and then i'll search for the let's say i'll search for the color then you can see these colors are having more colors and will color having different options like i want to represent by green then i can have so similarly i'll have values and i can have category value background color heat map and i can choose the colors value background color visualization board what should be the minimum value top color background color suppose i want to change the background color so i can change that background color also suppose i want to change the uh, background like with this one so i can have the background with different panel text color i want to change the text color with or with uh, orange let's say so this will be orange here you can see the orange are reflected over here sales sum of sales by state Similarly, zero percent gradient and the gradient value, I can have the on option. So this is going to change that gradient, and then I can change into the more effective color. Then this is, will have more effective for the respective values. So similarly, we can have format and visualization filter pane, and filter pane will be visualization your articles and your visualization pane. and the general value we can change title effects and all text and everything from this side on the next of the map filled map format we have filled map over here i am going to remove this panel from this location and i am going to select filled map here you can see inside the filled map i am having location region latitude longitude and tooltip so what i am going to select i am going to select the segment option from this table and then i am going to select the region okay so anything happen no nothing is going to happen over here so i am going to deselect value there again and this time i am going to select the state and the region value so this time i am having the the filled value so whatever the values are there it is going to show the filled value over the given state if i first select the region and then select the state nothing will happen okay so this is going to take grade and location and region you can change the region and the location also so where we can have the different state and region but this is the different with the conventional map and here we can show the respective value for the qualitative representation also now we will talk about the slicer i am going to remove all these options from here now i am going to select the slicer option from this one so let's find out where the slicer in this video this kpi and this is the slicer option so as of now i had not selected any parameter here but i'll select from the right hand side and then i'll select the location order fact table so from the region state order id 
products product id city postal region if i am having any date option here yes here i am having date option so sort uncategorized so then then i'll select it over here and format i'll select long date and this one now it's going to convert and i'm i can ex expand in the date hierarchy and then select so now you can see it's going to select all the years over here if i selected 2015 you can see all the data set and the charts are revised now if i deselect and deselect 16 and 17 so i press cut and then select more than one year 2016 and 17 this year i want to select 2015 so i'll click over here when i'll go to the when i'll go to the select option visualization and then select option select then then you can see here are so many other options also like if i will click over here and then i can have select option so now show select option off this time it's on but i can select on also so now i can have select all option here but i'll click opt it for off so it will show off option similarly i can have multiple select with option so i can have multiple options also which was not enabled previously suppose i am going to select single options on so i can select single op year at a single time so this is how we can perform so many options now i am going to perform all these options again now coming back to the different options if you you will show the slice option you can see that it is happening having no other card like if i go to the this option now i'm having one two dimension over here similarly i'll come back over this chart then it's having this one it's having one and two so two dimension chart similarly i'll click on any other option so it's having year coordinate quarter month and day if i want to deselect the remaining options it will have different options over here you can see accordingly my values are going to change and if i show another option show all labels so it, it will show all the uh, labels again and then i can create more option which means the dimensions for all the charts are not same not every time it's having two dimension or four dimension it will vary to chart to chart or visualization to visualization if you want to add more slicers go to the add get more visuals then i can have more options in order to get more slicer over here i'll get the slicer and then you can see more slicers are here shillate slicer is there timeline slicer is there text search slicer hierarchy slicer and so many other slicers are also existing in power bi option you can select and you can add in your dashboard and start demonstrating your entire chart and all so this is all about the slicer now we are going to the next space and in this space i'll select the card so here we will talk about the row card and multi row card so this i have selected as a single card so here you can see in the field add data fields here how many columns or how many values are it's showing only one which means we can add only one dimension inside this card so can i add city over here yes it's showing first city as a dimension if i add postal code it's showing count of postal code as an integer value 
if i sh show sales it will show the single card over here and just giving the entire value on the screen suppose i want to add one more card yes i can do here but this time i'll select profit over there instead of sales i can show i want to show the profit as a whole on the screen so i can share the profit on the screen now i want to select more than one value on the screen in my dashboard so for that i'll select multi row card and here multi row card i'll select profit and sales both so you can see the sum of profit and sales both are going to define over here so if i want to select the uh, this one more option so i can have sort ascending and descending also if i can have filters and they are not able enable so i can have more values and then i can have the certain value suppose i am selecting profit and like selecting sales and state so you can see it's showing sales and state respective values right suppose i want to select profit so it's showing respective sum of sales sum of profit in the particular state so state by state is also shown over here if we to select filter so you can perform the filter option here like how you can want to visualize how you want to perform the filter or you want to perform analytical option then will be popped up upcoming classes as of now we have done with the row card and multi row card now we will talk about the tree map over pie chart so for this i select the pie chart over here and inside this pie chart i'll select the state and the sales option can you see the entire pie chart is quite quite confusing and it has no sense like what kind of chart or what kind of values we are representing inside the chart and most of the values are overlapping with each other make sure selecting right visuals is also very much important in power bi and we have crystal clear vision over there so what we are going to convert we are going to convert this chart into the tree map now you can see the data is entirely uh, shown in very very uh, nicely fashion and all the values are shown inside the chart once you have having hierarchy kind of data set and hierarchy value so we can have the and another options like tree tree map over pie chart and also if you want to select the pie chart then you must have very low uh, rows and very low data set but if you have higher data set and very large big data then better version of pie chart then tree map is the better version of pie chart and let's check again what is the how many dimensions are there of this chart yes come back here category and value and sales so there are so many dimensions over the uh, over the data set so this is how we can create tree map when we talk about the next table next feature of this data visualization that is table and matrix so what's the difference between these two options so first i am going to select table and inside table i am selecting more features like i am going to select sales then i am selecting profit then i am selecting region then i am selecting state so you can see that as many as time i am going to selecting more features they are going to add as a column inside the table but they are not organized they are having duplicate values also you can see this south south east central they are repeating itself but suppose i am going to create this uh, like suppose i am going to copy this table and having another table also so this i am having this time i am having matrix so i am going to convert this table as a matrix so now this is a pivot table in the excel so this is equivalent to the arranged data or 
not the raw data but having some particular meaningful value the, it's not having duplicate value and arranged in somehow in some order so like my sum of profit sum of values are also depicting inside sum sum of sales sum of profits so this is the basic difference between the matrix and table so tables are hardly used in the visualization but most of the times we are using uh, matrix in order to show our entire data oh i want to arrange my data set in the ascending or the descending order so i want to select funnel chart and inside this funnel chart i'll select the subcategory and inside this subcategory i'll select the profit over here so this will have data in in the descending order so first you can see that the copiers phones accessories are having large sales in the descending order and each value are showing four three different values subcategories sum of profit percentage of first and so on similarly we can have percentage of previous percentage of first and so on so similarly we can we can compare with the previous value and the respective aggregate values sum of profit or the subcategory value if you want to find out the first five values of any value so we can have that filters and we can have that values and export the data in the same order similarly if you want to find out the top 10 value inside the subcategory so we can have that kind of data also so similarly any rank or any order value any hierarchy value inside the data visualization needed then we use final chart in that case now we want to compare more than one chart at a single line so i'm going to remove this value and i'm going to take that clustered column chart i'm increasing the size of this chart and then taking the order date so here is the order date and then as per the order date i'm going to select this sales so this is going to show the particular value and particular name so i'm going to deselect the month year and day so now i'm having year values inside the sales now someone is decreasing and somebody is increasing somehow it's having particular order i want to take the legend over here i want to add one legend over here in order to show the respective value so i would select some segment over here and put in the legend bar you can see now consumer corporate and of home office are having different graphs and they are comparing in between years but not comparing with each other sales each other years but i want to show i want to see the comparison between the uh, consumer in each year so this blue bar and i want to show the comparison between home office the orange bar similarly i want to show the corporate comparison between the middle bars so what i'll do i'll convert this chart into the into the uh, ribbon chart so let's find out where is the ribbon chart yes stack area and this is the ribbon chart so you can see now this is having order date year and the continuous comparison between all the stacks this is automatically filling the area between the bars and showing the comparative result on the screen so if you don't have any legend suppose i am going to uh, delete that legend you can see it's not showing any result although it's having two dimension what we went we want we will have to add legend this is very much important so make sure and be hundred uh, percent sure that you are adding legend inside the ribbon chart also although this is the type of ribbon but it's still not showing very much uh, effective information on the screen so in order to put the correct option we need to insert the legend over the particular uh, feature on the screen 
now coming back to the page number one where we had so many filters and let's come back to the i'm going to remove this chart and having this field map and inside this field map i want to select the state and the sales again similarly inside the another map i am going to select the i am going to select the map only and inside this map i am going to select the profit and region again so you can see the profit and region or i can select the uh, state instead so i can have like this field map also so this is going to show now i want to perform the filter option here so in this filter i am having three three stages so if i select any particular visual so this filters will apply filter in this visual so here you can see if i have suppose i i have excluded this one i am going to exclude this country and also excluding this this area this new york city i am going to exclude this part so now you can see this is going to perform filter option over here similarly if the sales is or i want to select the the sales is or any other perform sum of sales is sum of sales is uh, greater than 200 then apply filter now you would see some other values and respective value are going to shown over here now you can see the the states and the respective values are now changed similarly if you go to the filters on this page which means which will apply all the visuals which is shown over this page only page number one if you want to perform this filter all the pages which means actually report all the reports are going to apply that filters suppose i want to show the report of 2014 only so i will apply filter on all pages if i want to show the year wise filter so i will apply 2014 on page number one 2014 on page number two 2016 in page number three and so on so this is how we can generate year wise report so that will perform that i will perform filters on particular pages or particular page but i want to per perform the uh, the uh, the visualization voice so i perform that visualization so this means we have three levels of filters and we can apply accordingly when we talk about the visual we have so many focus mode spotlight and show visual suppose i click on this option and here i am going to the click on the focus mode it's showing all the parameters and the legend value over the screen and it will have large impact on the audience now i am going back to the report and i am going to the perform more options so if i click on the export data so i can see that i am going to save the data sum of sales by segment and this will save as a csv file so i have saved this file in my local pc and i'll come back to the uh, to the respective folder and sum of sales by segment cv is already stored here and you can see all the data and numerical values are saved over here and then i i'll come back to the file and i can use this this values values and these parameters in upcoming visualization now i'll click over here and then spotlight then you can see uh, though i have not done anything else and not uh, perform any any particular uh, operations here but it is going to show large impact on the screen and you can highlight the given area similarly i'll come back to the sort axis and then will uh, it will sort according the segment suppose i want to sort according the segment it is going to perform that operation if i want to sort in the ascending order so it is going to arrange in the ascending order so this is how we can perform so many visualization option and show as a table i can 
of the numerical value which we had earlier stored in a csv format now we have the tabular format or the respective uh, values or the numerical value of float values over here in in the format of values now we can come back to the report and show the original graph now i want to visualize more options that is build visual and tool tip so what i'll do suppose i'm going to add more options here that is the profit options you can see it's going to tool tip and going to add more options over here so it's showing that profit and uh, uh, sales over here and but overlapping each other i don't want this overlapping rather i want to show in the same visualization so i'll unclick this profit again and drop this can you see inside the build option and we have tool tip over here you can see tool tip so i'll drop the profit inside the tool tip so now you can see inside the tool tip we don't have that visualization but again we have that of values inside the sales so in the consumer now showing sales and profit both in the corporate it's showing sales and profit both values and in the segment of home office it's showing sales and profit both but i want to segregate on the basis of different segments so what i will do i'll take the one more value and that is the reason value this is the reason value and i'm having more options like a small multiple options i want to define in the different values so i'll drop this into the region and you can see the regions are central east west and south so now i'm not going to repeat all these value one by one central east but can have multiple in a single ways so the central is having its own graph east is having its own value and west is showing its own value there so now i am going to create that region east and profit versus graph now i am suppose i am i want to perform the filter i can do filter i can perform the filter options here i suppose i want to perform the filter over the given graph i can do the same so this can have the tool tips and stack bar and the small multiple section for the different visualization now in the given format i want to change the format values or the given value so inside the format painter so i'll go to the format you visualize i'll search for the border here so here i am having solid borders so i can have the uh, let's say more colors i'll have the red button and click over here and you can see i'm having red borders here suppose i would i'm having this this graph and going to copy this graph here and paste it as paste it here and it's showing on the page number one now i'm keeping it here similarly i'm going back to the page number three and copying this table and paging num going page number one and inside this page number one i'm having this format so now i just click over here and go to the format painter and i'm clicking over this table and then just click over here and then again format painter and click over here so now format painter this just, just click and then click over here and then i'm going to click over here so you can see the the format painter so it's going to copy that file so format painter and then copy and then you can see this visualization is just copied over here this is how we can perform the visualization part now inside this format option i have clicked this format painter it had just copied the all the formatting part 
not the entire value or the x axis or y axis i just click over here now you can see this is having that much border so i am going to again click over this one and format painter and click over here now i am having the same format suppose i am having other formats like uh, i am going to click over format and going to grid lines and that's a solid grid lines and having color some red right similarly i am going to click on bars and going to click on let's say different colors so now i am going to click over this visualization click on format printer and then click over here now you can see all the formats are printed over here now i am performing the same option clicking this visualization this chart and format printer and click over this value now you can see the values are now copied or the format is now copied on this chart also let's have some another value let's say let's copy but c let's copy this value this cut v and cut v so i'm going to decrease the size of this chart and again click over this and format printer and click over here now you can see the the format are going to paste over here and it's now reflecting over here now in this video we will talk about the show as a table and a summarize so i'll click over here and going to the show as a table so it will show entire data as a table format so inside the table format you can have the particular values and particular data so when i'll come back to the report and click over here so i'll have a spotlight and a small segment and i'll click over here and go back to the the paginated report or smart narrative i'm going to click on a smart narrative so this is smart narrative have no summarize found so if i'll click over here and then click entire chart let's say and summarize the entire report it's not having that report and i let's say i'm clicking over here and going to the format visualization and smart narrative so you can see that it's going to create that visualization and that narration so it's a the history brief history about across segment you can see and you can copy this entire history add consumer had the most interesting recent trend and trends recently up to 2014 rising by 23.36 percent in three years so this is the history across and the information uh, means uh, extracted from the given value so if we are going to analyze or the remove then i can remove so i'm going to perform that operation so let's say yes it is going to going back and then coming back to the original value so now i can have the particular value like i uh, suppose i am going to remove this option and i want to select this value and i am going to like uh, let's say sort y or any visualization part so i perform the analyze so i can have the analyze with this option and i can have the particular value and i can have like i mean show report export data then can have different impact on the screen now i am taking the fresh page over here and now i am going to the page number two and removing all these columns so let's take fresh table page over here this is the fresh page and i am taking any cluster column chart you can take any chart it's not you are supposed to take a cluster chart but we have custom sorting over here so inside this chart i am going to select order date 
inside this order date i am going to select month only not the quarter not the year not the day and inside the month i am going to select another parameter that is sales now you can see it's showing the the month number month name and they are in the uh, in the random january february but i want to select in the in the different uh, uh, different uh, aspect let's say gen fab march first three characters only so for that what i'll do i'll create order detail and go to the power query the power query is the only solution which can sort this value so what i'll do i'll create the uh, i mean i create the order date and this i'll create the duplicate column so inside this duplicate column i'll go to the transform and convert into the like go to the transform and means convert the date type as a date time and i'm going to select that month name so let's say i'm going to like this is the date and i'm going to select the month only so now you can see this is the showing the month number and i have sorted over here so now i'm going to change this this column name by renaming like let's say m-o-n-t-h month number now i'm going to take one more option order date and then going to perform that uh, uh, that duplicate value again duplicate column so i'm going to create one duplicate column over here and then rename this with month and then i'm going this time i'm going to name it like first the value so i'm going to create this value and inside this first create value i'm going to convert this as a date and start of month or i will convert a date and time and i'll convert it to into the text no it's not text it is date and time no it is it is not taking date and time it is giving taking date so i'm going to change type and then i'm going to convert into the going to the perform going to the format and extract so i'm going to take the date and then here month and start of month and day name of the month so it's showing name of the month then i'll click on the extract option and length and inside this length i'll click the extract and the first characters so i'll click the uh, i'll perf calculate length length rather i'll click on the extract and first character i'll click on the count and take first three character you can see now it's taking first three character only i'll click on the home button and close and apply so it will take few times and will come back to the option for close and apply so now i am back to the my dashboard option so now instead of sales option or the order date i'll take month first three option now you can see it's showing in the random option so what i'll do i'll take it in the in the uh, sales in the x-axis and in the y-axis or month in the y-axis or sales in the count of the month in the uh, x-axis and sales on the y-axis now it's showing in the random option but will i apply or t sort in the different option sort axis by ascending order so it will sort according to the alphabetical n t c and odd 
if i will sort axis according to the ascending order so it will sort according to the respective values but their alphabetical number fabric but their respective value they are not going to here so this is how we have taking the month number so i have taken the for month name over here so which is going to show month name over here Now coming back to the exact option, we have seen the data option where I had sorted the entire data in the first three column and I, I have sorted according to the first three values. So this first sort by column and sort by column by month number of first three character. I just applied the sorting first three character and all the rows are sorted in the descending order over here. Now come back to the report you can see now options are over here now I'll come back to the data and I'll sort the month number so now it has been sorted over here now you can see it's showing January February and till December I'll come back to here if I'll sort by column by month number or in the ascending order then it will have like suppose I'll sort descending order so then it will have report in the descending order so january february december also this is how we can sort the entire data and can sort entire values over here in in the desired option when we come back to the sales and month option over here now i'll select the uh, instead of first month 3 I select the uh, entire order date so now you can see more options are depicting over here previously it was having only w these three options filter on visual focus mode and more options but whenever I will click month first 3 and the ship date let's say so I am having more options click to run on drill down drill down so it will have more options there suppose I'll having more option here then it will have drill up option and you can see quarter one quarter two will be up and up here according to year wise then I can have next to next label hierarchy so it is going to show next hierarchy and the next month wise and the date wise also accordingly when whenever you want to have more values then you can have the hierarchy concern and you can have the particular values so it's just showing the hierarchy particular and the particular uh, instant and part particular quarter value so if i will deselect month and year itself and it will not show the entire value but show the entire quarter day and quarter value so i'm having so many options so it it is showing so many move down and move up option in detail We have seen the conventional hierarchy or the automatic hierarchy in the format of ship date. So can I create the custom hierarchy? Yes. So I'll go to the country and create, create, click on the create hierarchy and inside this create hierarchy, hierarchy you can see more options are showing here. Now I'll want to create inside this create country hierarchy so i am having only one option that is country but i want to create more hierarchy inside this country so what i'll do i'll go to the state and add to hierarchy that is country hierarchy so inside this country my states are just shown here right expand all then you can see inside this country hierarchy i am having country i am having country and state both now again i will go to the city and click on the right hand side more options and add to hierarchy country hierarchy now i would have more hierarchy over here so previously it was selecting date and order date i will deselect that and i will select country hierarchy over here and then cells is already there so now i can perform the 
uh, more options like like turn to drill down and drill up and then drill up and then i'm having this expand all down hierarchy so this is showing drill up this is country and this is again uh, this is again this is all the states showing this is inside the single state how many options are there how many next label of hierarchy how many next uh, province how many next cities are there that's showing the entire hierarchy which means it's the custom hierarchy is perf is performing perfectly fine now i'm going to explain drill through this time for this i'm going to create one more page i'm going to re rename it as a source and then i'm going to create one more table here and page here and giving the name as a target now inside the source page i'm going to click over the matrix and then enlarge it and drop few elements so first is order id and second one is the sales so inside the order id and sales i'm going to uh, enlarge the font so for that i'll go to the global and global font size and i'll go to the going to increase the font size now fonts are increased similarly i'll come back to the target page and click over the um, matrix format and then inside the target page and i'm going to uh, add one more option that is customer id and order id and profit over here so i'm going to sales also in this table and again going to enlarge the font that is the global font size and inside this global font size i am giving 17 there so if i'll come back to the source page and killing clicking on the right hand side so it's not showing or popping up any option over here for the drill through so when i go to the target section i'll drop the order id and you can see add drill fields through here so i'll click the order id because i need the order id option so for this i drop the order id here add drill through here option and i'll come back to the source of id and click over source id and right click you can see now my target table or target page is showing here so drill through target i'll go to the target and showing customer id sum of prop profit sum of sales the respective values are showing over here similarly i'm going to the source and click over the value and going to the drill through and the target value and now the respective values are showing here the respective customer id sum of the product and profit and sum of the sales this is the property of drill through don't get confused with drill down which is relevant to the hierarchy but drill through is the relevant in relevancy between the pages or the between the different pages and different source or target value any element is having what kind of reference that is going to explain through drill through now i am going to perform the forecasting so for this i am going to remove this chart and i am going to take line chart so for this line chart i am going to take the order date and inside this order date i am going to select only quarter month and day let's take all the values to all levels and then i am going to order date and sales so now i'm having let's say i'm removing year and i'm having this this line chart across the quarter month and day now i'm going to create the third option that is the visualization option and then i'll going to create inside the visualization i'm going to perform the analyticals so i'm going to search and uh, critical so it's 
so y axis so where it is and the maximum value where it is the maximum value average line uh, how to perform the error bars and apply bars and then we have the lower bars so for this expansion i'm going to enable that option and for that i'm going to use the by percentage and then the upper bar and the lower bar similarly i want to have more options and more values suppose i'm going to click on the data again and going to remove the quarter and the day month only and then click on the value and then error bars and then average line how to perform that average line and then inside this average line i am having median line across the percentage line so this is analytics part and you can have the particular value now inside this line chart we can see the forecast option i am going to enable that forecast option and for the given units i want to check the points uh, what should be the forecast length let's say it's a 10 or if you want to reduce the one then you can have and suppose i want to check the least value ignore the last and then i want to have the confidence level 99 percent and then i am going to apply you can see it's showing the one forecasting suppose i'm going to perform 10 forecasting i'm going to perform the 10 forecasting for the next lower and upper value so forecasting cannot be have the exact value but we can have the approximate value on the same so we can do the forecasting here so i can uh, export the value or i can the export the respective value here from here i can show as a table and here you can see the confidence label is going here and going to export the entire value so you can export in the value and you can export the data and it will save as csv file and you can have the particular tabular format analytical values so this is how we can perform over the time and over the date and over the respective year